Hello students, let us start with introduction to three hinged stiffening girdle. So we are going to cover a small concept and a numerical problem on this topic. Okay, so coming to this particular uh, diagram here, you can see a, a three hinged stiffening girdle over here. So consider a here uh, you can see consider a cable okay consider a suspension cable which is stiffened at three hinges so one hinge is here at this place one hinge is at this place and third is at point c okay and uh, you know the this girder can be a really a uh, very heavy beam or even a truss okay there can be a truss part uh, to such girder so which has uh, three hinges at the two ends and one at the center the cable and the girder okay the cable or the cable and the girder cable will be there the cable and the girder uh, they are connected by number of hangers or suspenders so these green lines they are called as hangers or suspenders and since the number of suspenders you know they are very many are in number they are many in number so they kind of create uh, not a point load but uh, a uniformly distributed load so we actually consider that they are of uh, they are uh, like uniformly distributed load so for such case uh, let us consider a free body diagram uh, for suppose this uh, we are cutting it in between okay uh, we are just uh, taking a section of this particular so we will see a free body diagram like this here so let us consider a w e let us consider that this uniformly distributed load as we which is acting as it is uniformly distributed load so i can write it as we per unit length okay and this is c dash and this is c at one single line so uh, when we consider so uh, this particular diagram is basically a free body diagram of a cable and a girder okay cable and a girder now uh, when we consider the moment at the central hinge of girder okay when we consider moment about this particular point this is single element like this okay so when we consider moment about uh, point c dash then uh, this uniformly distributed load exerted by sus uh, suspenders can be calculated so how much is actually this udl is acting so how to calculate that when we consider moment about this c dash then we can easily calculate okay um, we should uh, remember that due to this uniformly distributed load alone okay due to only because of this uniformly distributed load there is a bending moment okay at any section at any section there is a bending moment suppose we consider any section x from this size this side suppose just an example so I want you to remember that bending moment created because of this will be W into W e into x into L minus x divided by 8. Okay, I want you to remember this because we are going to use this formula. So at any section x x and maximum moment. Okay, so this is just a moment at any section x I said. Now what is the maximum moment? Okay, maximum moment is nothing but it is w e into l square by 8 now i hope you can just understand by seeing this how this is coming as w e into l square by 8 if you can relate it with our previous subject you know last year subject so i'll just quickly tell you if this is a simply supported beam with uh, uniformly distributed load suppose this is w this is l okay if such a beam is there so total load on the beam will be w into l so what will be here reaction will be it is nothing but w l by 2 w l by 2 okay now if you want to consider moment about any point c here okay so because it is uniformly distributed load all over the span so maximum bending moment will be in the middle so at the same time you have to remember because this span is l so this will be l by 2 l by 2 right half half part will be l by 2 now what is moment at this particular part so moment at c you can write it as load okay this reaction is going up so load into perpendicular distance 
so I can write it as W L by 2 into L by 2 and now this this is because of reaction okay now because of W what we will write minus W into L by 2 okay now this becomes a load this is load so whenever UDL is there we you first multiply it by that particular span and now it will act in the middle of this span and this distance is nothing but L by 4 so when you multiply by L by 4, finally when you solve this WL square by 4 minus WL square by 8, so you are arriving at WL square by 8. So you can simply relate it like this or even like this at any section X, okay. So base is the same over here. So I want you to remember this uh, formulas. Now this particular moment, it is of hogging nature, okay. This particular moment is of hogging nature. So hogging is negative. Now the shear force at any uh, at any section x, okay, wherever we are calculating moment bending moment. Now the shear force at this section due to W E. So I want you to remember this shear force, okay. So shear force will be W E into L by two minus x, okay, at any distance x minus W E into L by two minus x. So this cable can be analyzed for the uniformly distributed load WE and based on this now we are let us solve one problem. So here is our question. So a 3 hinged stiffening girder of a suspension bridge of 100 meter okay this is 3 hinged stiffening girder so it has a span of 100 meter. So let us write the span of 100 meter. This is subjected to two point loads of 200 kilonewton, 200 kilonewton and 300 kilonewton at a distance of 25 meter and 50 meter from the left end. So this is 25 meter and 50 meter from the left end and the supporting cable has a central dip of 10 meter. So this central dip is nothing but 10 meter. So find uh, the maximum tension and its slope in the cable. Okay. So uh, the supporting cable has a central dip of 10 meter. Find the maximum tension and its slope in the cable. Now let us consider that because of this hangers or suspenders there is a unit load as just now what we have discussed W E per unit length okay unit length it is acting in that and we have to find out what is this W E. So reactions at A and B we have to calculate what are the reactions at A and B. So uh, it's as simple as you know simply supported beam how we calculate. So when we want to calculate what is reactions at uh, this particular case then simply consider a uh, moment about any one support and even summation of forces in vertical direction okay so let us consider moment of all forces about support a so moment of all forces about support a and it is zero okay moment about this hinge because there are hinges so it is zero zero moment here so we can write that now if we consider moment about this part so this rb is making anti clockwise uh, moment so it is we will, let us consider positive as clockwise and anti clockwise is negative so let us write vb or rb we can write it as vb or rb so we can simply project these things at below okay so we can simply write it here let us write it as rb rb or rb dash then here already it is there and uh, this let us write it here as ra okay so as we are projecting it here so here it is vb so uh, we can write it as rb or rb dash anything whatever is comfortable so uh, we can write a moment equation when we uh, consider summation of forces about support a so because a is here so let us make it a dash okay this part and may make it as b dash so it's better to make it as r a dash and r b dash so this is moment about support a dash okay so when we write such equation 
so rb now we are considering moment about this part only okay so anti clockwise so we can write minus rb dash into 100 okay whole span is 100 meter minus uh, then it is clockwise okay so this is clockwise so we will write it as plus plus 200 into 25 then there is one more point load then 300 into 50 is equal to 0 so when we solve this so we will get rb dash is equal to 200 kilo newton okay so we are done with one support reaction okay see there is a we have taken a section over here so free body diagram only so either we we can easily solve this uh, part here that's why we are calculating it here now let us uh, calculate what is rb dash we got now let us calculate what is ra dash so for this consider moment of all forces about c dash that is zero because this is hinge part so it is moment about this part is also zero now again let us write here so when we consider this part so we can simply consider either right part or the left part okay any one part we can start we can calculate this so let us consider this part so we can see here that rb what are the forces available here there are this rb it is uh, rb dash into l by 2 okay and this udl is there so udl uh, that is nothing but w e l square by 8 okay so that is the only case because this udl is there this is the udl okay so udl uh, we can consider we are calculating about this part okay so don't get confused that it's uh, arrow or up means it is going upward okay this is a udl so we will simply uh, consider accordingly sign convention so suppose this is uh, anti clockwise uh, negative so this will be positive so simply write the equation so rb is nothing but 200 so rb dash into 200 uh, sorry minus rb dash into this uh, this distance is nothing but l by 2 okay l by 2 this is 100 meter span so this is 50 okay rb dash into l by 2 so this is anti clockwise uh, uh, direction plus now this particular we so we can write we into l square by 8 is equal to 0 okay this is udl so i told you that rb dash will be uh, how much it will be it was wl by 2 will be then when we consider moment about this point so we will arrive at this uh, maximum uh, moment okay so when we solve this when we substitute rb dash equals to 200 here so minus 200 into 50 equals to anyway now when will this will go at this side so this minus sign will go and we into l is nothing but 100 square divided by 8 so we will arrive at we is equal to 8 kilo newton per meter so we could find out what is udl acting over here okay now let us see uh, what is ra so we we could get rb we could get we now we can find out what is ra so what is uh, how do we calculate ra dash ra dash is nothing but summation of when we do summation of forces in y direction so simply see what are the forces in y direction so you can see here that ra dash rb dash going upward this 200 and 300 it is coming downward okay so we can simply calculate summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero so we can write here ra dash plus rb dash is equal to 500 kilo newton okay 300 plus 200 so when we substitute rb dash is 200 then we will get ra dash is equal to 300 kilo newton so we will arrive at this particular solution now coming to the uh, let us find out as per the question it says find the shear force and bending moment for a girder at a distance 30 meter from the left end okay so let us consider any section x from uh, x distance uh, from left end. So here, this uh, two hundred it is at twenty five meter. And we have to calculate 
this is at 30 meter okay so at x equal to 30 meter from left so shear force what is shear force at this point okay so shear force is nothing but shear force due to given loading and shear force due to udl okay it is inbuilt so that is because of we so shear force due to loading we can see that there is this r a dash at this point okay we want to find out what is shear force here so there is this r a dash and this 200 will also come okay and this is exactly at 300 kilo newton so it will not come here so we can write r a dash r a dash which is going up then minus 200 which is going down and then minus there will be udl because of udl so here you remember uh, to use the formula of shear force okay that is we into l by 2 minus x okay this is that formula we have uh, just seen in theory minus 30 so when we substitute values here like we know r a dash is equal to 300 minus 200 minus 8 into 50 minus 30 so we will get uh, when we solve this we will get minus 60 kilo newton that means it is going downward so we can write it as 60 kilo newton which is in downward direction okay that is the shear force we got now what is bending moment so moment is equal to again moment due to moment due to given loading plus moment due to we so moment due to given loading is ra is 300 okay so 300 into okay moment we are calculating so at this point what is moment 300 into 30 so we will write 300 into 30 minus because of udl okay minus uh, and there is uh, this point load also so uh, first let us consider what is point load minus 200 into so this particular distance okay this is 25 and this is 30 so that means this is 5 meter so when we consider only this particular load so only 5 meter is its perpendicular distance so minus 200 into 5 then because of udl minus 8 into then again this UDL uh, formula 100 that is you know this is WE into L minus X by 2 this formula. So when we substitute we get minus 400 kilonewton meter. So as per our sign convention it can be uh, if sagging or hogging you know uh, so it is like if it is uh, our uh, sign convention if sagging is positive and hogging is negative so as per that sign convention if this is negative means this is hogging okay so to make it uh, positive we can write it as uh, to make it sagging we can write it as positive this way okay now for the analysis of cable we have to see what is the shear force okay what is the shear force so shear force at a is nothing but okay at point a that is nothing but w e into l by 2 that is nothing but reaction okay so once we get udl we can easily find it out it is total load acting on the beam uh, that is udl that is uh, 8 into 100 by 2 so 400 kilo newton is our shear force uh, what we got here in the problem and then when we consider moment about point C, so we can easily find out what is the horizontal thrust, okay. When we calculate moment about point C, we can easily get the thrust. So let us consider moment at point C is equal to 0, 0. So we can write H into H. So we can consider any one side, 
either right side or left side so h into h is equal to w e into l by 2 into l by 2 minus w e l by 2 into l by 4 so we will get it as w e l square by 8 so when we write this equation okay suppose if we consider uh, any one side suppose we consider uh, this side okay and this we know that this is nothing but w e into l by 2 okay so first part is nothing but h into h okay moment and this is h so this is what we have written here uh, this is clockwise so positive or anything i mean when we show it as equivalent here so uh, that will be balanced anyway and then this is anti clockwise suppose so w into l by 2 so this is w into l by 2 into l by 2 so this is half of the span uh, this is l by 2 okay so here l by 2 we have written and then we are considering the udl part so in this udl part w into l by 2 into l by 4 so this is it will act here at this part so we have written this equation and we arrive at this point so we are anyways we are seeing this consistently in whole chapter okay cables and suspension bridges everywhere we have uh, seen the similar equation so when we substitute value h as a 10 meter okay so h into 10 is equal to w e is nothing but 8 span is nothing but 100 square divided by 8 is equal to so when we uh, solve this then we arrive at therefore h is equal to 10,000 kilonewton okay so once we get this horizontal thrust we can find out what is t max t max is nothing but va square plus h square so substitute values va is 400 we got va as 400 so 400 square plus Uh, sorry this is h by 10 okay so when uh, it comes by 10 so we arrive at 1000 kilonewton so 1000 square so we get t max is equal to 1077.033 so we get t max is equal to 1077.033 kilonewton now let us calculate its slope okay its slope to the horizontal slope to the horizontal so we can write t max cos theta is equal to h then theta is equal to cos inverse of h by t max okay so h we have value 1000 and t max is 1077.03 so our angle to the horizontal is nothing but 28 21.81 uh, degree so here we have done with the uh, whole problem and let us quickly go through uh, what are the steps we did over here okay so uh, just a quick uh, go through so let us see uh, this was the question given okay so a three hinge stiffening girder uh, with particular span 100 meter span was given and then load uh, was given here okay two loads are uh, anyways are given here and uh, uh, which is uh, at what distance they are acting so this all data is given and what we are expected to do is to find out shear force and bending moment for the girder at a distance of 30 meter okay at this point at a distance of 30 meter from the left end and the supporting uh, supporting cable has a deep of 10 meter so we also have to find out what is the maximum tension and uh, its slope in the cable okay at this point so step number one is what we have done we have okay considered a section over here we kind of consider a free body diagram okay now uh, initially we have calculated uh, when this down portion okay for this first we have considered the down portion and we have calculated reactions over here okay so we have considered here as a uh, 
rb dash okay we have considered here as a rb dash this is ra dash so we have initially calculated what is rb dash what is ra dash by means of considering moment about this particular point okay we have considered initially moment about point a and we calculated rb dash then we have considered moment about point c and then we have calculated ra dash once we get this reaction then we found out that when x is equal to 30 meter so when x is equal to 30 meter then what is the shear force then we have considered only this left part and we have calculated shear force so shear force is nothing but shear force because of given loading means this external loading okay because of this uh, given loading and then what is shear force because of this udl okay so understand this udl is nothing but it is internal part of the this stiffening girder okay this is not the external load this is internal part of the this girder load and but this 200 is a external load so when we do this calculation we have arrived at shear force then we have calculated similar way we have calculated our bending moment also once we are done with this calculation then we move to this part and we again calculate what is va and vb over here okay so we calculate we analyze the cable part then so for to analyze that we calculate what is va then what is vb and what is the horizontal thrust okay so we calculated this and then once we get this then we can find out what is the maximum tension okay what is the maximum tension that is uh, this maximum tension in the and the slope in the cable so that's how we calculate t max and then theta so these were the steps to solve a particular problem so hope uh, it's clear to you now thank you